Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe This Holocaust memorial consists of 2,711 coffin-shaped pillars covering an entire city block. It remembers the six million Jews who were killed by the Nazis during World War II. Completed in 2005, it's an essential stop for any visit to Berlin. It was the first formal German government-sponsored Holocaust memorial. Using the word murdered in the title was intentional and a big deal. Germany as a nation was officially admitting to a crime. Jewish-American architect Peter Eisenman won the commission. Now, start walking through. Once you enter the memorial, notice that people seem to appear and disappear between the columns, and that no matter where you are, the exit always seems to be up. The memorial is thoughtfully lit at night and guarded. The pillars are made of hollow concrete. They stand in a gently sunken area, which can be entered from any side. The number of pillars isn't symbolic of anything. It's simply how many fit on the provided land. The memorial's location, where the wall once stood, is also coincidental. In Berlin alone, there were 160,000 Jewish residents before Hitler took power. Tens of thousands fled the Nazi regime, and many thousands more were arrested, sent to nearby Sachsenhausen concentration camp, and eventually killed, murdered. Like death, you enter it alone. It's up to the visitor to derive the meaning while pondering this horrible chapter in human history. The Sight of Hitler's Bunker While there's nothing to actually see, you're standing atop the buried remains of the Führer Bunker. In early 1945, as Allied armies advanced on Berlin and Nazi Germany lay in ruins, Hitler and his staff retreated to this bunker complex behind the former Reich Chancellery. He stayed here for two months. Meanwhile, Berlin had been laid to waste by Allied bombing. Over the course of the war, the city was pummeled time and again by U.S. and British airplanes. Tens of thousands of Berliners lost their lives, and hundreds of thousands were forced to evacuate to the countryside. And so it was here on April 30th, 1945, as the Soviet army tightened its noose on the Nazi capital, that Hitler and Eva Braun, his wife of less than 48 hours, committed suicide. A week later, the war in Europe was over. The information board here explains the rest of the story. It shows a detailed cutaway illustration of the bunker complex. A timeline traces its history and ultimate fate. After the war, the roof was removed and the bunker filled with dirt, then covered over. Though the site of Hitler's bunker is historic and certainly thought-provoking, there really isn't much to see here, and that's on purpose. 